for the serious gamer. Hey, Next Gen Tactics, it's Guns for Hire, and this is a high kill death ratio video on World at War Courtyard. And I said it's from me already, so I'm not going to repeat it. This is where I'm going to show you uh, strategies, kind of a hybrid of easy routes, which is run and gunning and camping, which I personally think is the most effective way to actually get uh, good high kill death ratios, reduce the amount of times you die, and still maximize how many kills you get. So what it is, is basically um, camp, kill, move. That's more or less what the, the strategy is here. Not just running around wildly, although that can work, but it doesn't work all the time, and it can get you in a lot of trouble. It's a hit and a miss. It's kind of like a lottery, um, a one in three lottery. Well, I don't know what the friggin' odds are, but you know what I mean. On certain maps and certain people, running and gunning will work great. But against other teams... It will not work great, whereas if you use a, a, a high kill death ratio strategy like what I'm showing you, it can give you consistent results because it doesn't, it's not dependent basically on um, the other team either being all running gunners as well, just not as skilled, or all campers. It actually compensates for both types of players. Because what it does is it requires you to keep moving for those of running gunners that are coming by when you're camping, like I say when you're stopped, when you're stopped and you're actually firing your weapon and you get a kill. Anytime you get a kill and they watch the kill cam, or even if they don't watch the kill cam and they know where they got killed, there's a high probability that someone's going to chuck a grenade or they're going to come around from the rear and try to actually uh, snag you from that position. So... That being said, so what the strategy requires, and usually, and you'll see even here in Courtyard, Courtyard's a, a, a real, you know, hard map to, you can't really camp on this. So this strategy is actually perfect for maps like this. It's a small map, there's not a lot of places for you to camp. You can camp, hold certain grounds. I mean, if I, I get around to covering Camp NGT on this map, uh, I'll show you a couple of places you can camp, but for the most part, it is very difficult because it's not a large map. You could easily spam anyone in this map with uh, grenades uh, and be able to sort of, you know, smoke them out. Anyway, so in this thing here, you want to actually be on the move. You want to be on the move because the enemy is going to compensate for where they actually, where you actually killed them. So it's very important. Generally, what you'll see me do other than spray the crap out of people with my Type 100, is stick to perimeters. Now, on almost any map, perimeters is a good idea. On larger maps, you can get away with going uh, in the inside because it's a lot easier. However, on small maps like this, if you run on in the interior, like going through the center, there is a higher probability that you're going to get crossfire because it's such a small map. People are running everywhere. And it's so quick, you're going to end up trashing your, and like I said before, if your concern is high kill death ratio, you're going to end up trashing your, your ratio. There we go, getting some dogs running low. Oh, knifing is not very good in this, although I'm not saying I'm the best knifer, but the knifing, knifing, uh, knifing in this is actually very, very friggin' difficult to do. It's not like uh, Modern Warfare 2 by any means. And as a matter of fact, I actually found it easier in Call of Duty 4 than versus this game here. I don't know if it's something to do with some weird lag in it, but uh, anyway. Always pick up another weapon. Don't forget, when you're running low, it doesn't matter what the hell it is. Even if it's a bamboo stick, pick it up. It's better than having two bullets left. Now, I thought this was... I'm pretty sure I thought this was... These were my dogs. Now, were these my dogs? Because it sounded like something was chewing on me. I can't really remember. I don't know. There we go. Getting some more. A little blinded. Freaking flares in this annoy me. I used to use them all the time, too. It's very difficult to see anything, and you got to rely on your map. Anyway, as you can see, even though I'm moving constantly, I move, and I stop in a sort of defensive position. So I'm moving, I try and find the next defensive position, and I stop moving again. If I'm in a position, like, in the si inside there, kind of like what a real soldier would do. High kill death ratio strategy that I use actually more or less reflects a more realistic, real-life uh, soldier mentality, which is, you know, uh, clear a certain area, get up to a certain area, make sure it's clear, then move again. And that's really what they do. 
Um, I mean, they they wouldn't camp. Camping is not realistic either. I mean, if you're on a forward uh, offense uh, in terms of a war, you don't camp. You move. But at the same time, you don't just run out there like some moron. Um, not saying that running gunning is full of morons or whatever. <coughs> yes, it is. Uh, anyway, you know, it it's just smarter to play, you know, move stop assess and then move stop assess and as you're going and believe me in these games here there's enough people running around all crazed up like they just smoked a giant pipe of crack that you're gonna have them run past you now this was stupid stupid of me to actually even do that i shouldn't have been on on the open there generally what i always say when i'm running through there stick to perimeters like right where i am first of all you have an, uh, a higher vantage point which is always always better because when you're playing you tend to not look up you tend to look at the level on which you're at i think we won did we win yeah we won anyway i'm guns for hire hope you enjoyed the high kill death ratio video